you still remember every single time that you tried to change your life, that you tried to make it better, like everybody around you say, and that people always recommend you to do. Improve your life. Make healthier choices. Live a happier life. Live life with purpose. It seems logical to us all. We all want to live like this. And those who don't simply lost the cause of living and they are ready to settle for anything life will give them. But you are not like this. You are actually willing to understand what is wrong. Why are you burning up so fast every time you're trying to make a change for good? Every time you try to exclude a single fast food out of your, out of your diet? Every single time you try stopping fapping, stopping watching porn? maybe even stopped watching anime, you still came back after one or two days. And it's okay. But as much as you dread all those moments of you burning yourself out, of you failing, of you just wanting to change as fast as possible, I'm here to tell you the truth. It isn't possible. If you want to become one of these guys who seemingly in one short amount of time turns his life upside down, he was smoking weed, he was playing video games, he was, he was masturbating, he was doing all the worst stuff any man can do. And the next time you see him, he got a successful business. He has a girlfriend. He, he got muscle out of nowhere. And you will ask him, how did you do it? And as always, people like him always respond with one and only thing. I just wanted to. It's not about that. They have a secret they're not telling you. And I'm here to tell you what that secret is. And the secret is for you to stop wanting fast results. It's for you to accept that it doesn't work this way. And for you to accept that it's going to be much harder than anybody portrays it. That it's going to be much more complicated. That it's not going to be one one push and that's it. You're gonna be living it. And the way you will be able to live it is you coming up with the limit. Is you first coming up with whatever you wanna be doing. Like going to the gym, like eating healthy. Listen, let's cut the bullshit. If you want to be as them, if you want to get as fast of a progress as they did, maybe in a month, maybe in two months, maybe you just even half a year, you just, the simple thing and the simple truth that nobody tells you is that you just have to accept that you are gonna be doing this forever and you're not gonna be doing this like the whole day. Set realistic standards. Be realistic, even downgraded if it, if it is, if it will help. Because otherwise you will always be burning out. If you will stop eating junk food, or basically you will sit your, your ass down on a diet without any fast food, junk food, and the food with added sugars, instantly without either getting prepared or without uh, getting ready accordingly. And just thinking, oh man, how, you know, just looking at the video, one video on the internet that just motivated you to sit on another diet. It seems so easy. You just don't eat the stuff you ate before and you start eating other food. 
Yeah, it sound, sounds easy, but your psychology is unfortunately already addicted to all of these bad foods for you. It's already addicted to porn. It's already addicted to video games. It's already addicted to everything. And in order for you to just stop caring for this, you will have to find your own leverages. And not just that, you have to go slow. The only way is the consistency. People are becoming programmers not because they watch all of those, all those tutorials on YouTube. People are becoming musicians not because they watch how people play on YouTube. People become presidents not because they, f they watched how presidents act, but because they did, did the political job. Because they did get the money and power to become a president. Nothing, co nothing comes without a cost and you will always burn out every time you think that you will be able to change yourself overnight. And if you will not, you are one of the chosen ones, but it doesn't fucking matter because early, early or later, you will still burn out because of it. Month, two months, three months, four months. The thing is, people who actually succeed in being consistent at, with burnouts are those who are ready for burnouts. You just have to be ready for them. You will always have them. It's a natural reaction of your brain. You will always have burnouts, you will always fail, but you will also sometimes succeed. And these successes are going to be the thing you will be striving for. But you have to accept that fails are also the part of getting to success. Imagine, imagine it like this. You have a quest in a video game and you are supposed to get to that success, right? So, to finish this quest, you are supposed to fail. You are supposed to do shit, look like a stupid, stupid guy who doesn't know what he's talking about. But you have to teach them. You have to teach people about this. You have no idea whatever this means. You are supposed to teach it nevertheless just to learn it yourself. People don't teach to teach others. People teach to teach themselves. All of the popular YouTubers are basically saying whatever they've learned in order for you to understand it more easily, but in the center of it, they always want to benefit themselves. They just want themselves to learn better. They just want to get something from whatever they are learning. It's not about helping you. It's not about making you able to be successful. It's about people who are making those videos to become successful by making others successful. Have you ever heard of that one doctor who came up with the concept of learning stuff by teaching, uh, teaching others or, or explaining some concept to, to people uh, as, a, as to a 12 year old? Basically, that's the way you do it. That's the way you do anything. That's the way you learn anything. You want to learn the guitar? First you play the guitar, obviously, you are bad as hell, you are bullshit at it, but as long as you're gonna teach yourself that, as long as you're, I don't fucking know, going to talk to this guitar in hopes of it being able to learn something uh, in the matter you would yourself you would understand, that's it, you are learning and you just have to do it consistently. Set the time frame, set the frame of how much job you will do and do only to this degree. Don't overdo it. You have fucking free time. I don't fucking care. Your brain doesn't care. You will burn out. You will not be able to keep this same attitude all the time because you will not always have extra time. This extra time is not a possibility for you to go further than you could have gone if there wasn't this extra time. Because the next time you won't have this extra time and you will feel like you've lost something by not doing something at this extra time. And then you would do extra after your extra time is out. Then you're gonna lose your hope. 
and then you will stop. You will burn out. All these times, people become successful. They don't become successful by doing something in a day, and then and then getting money for it. They are doing one small step towards their end goal every day. For example, a goal can be for you to sit with a guitar in your hands for 30 minutes a day. How hard does that sound? It doesn't sound hard because, well, you're not, you're not supposed to be able to play it. You're just supposed to sit with it. But when you actually get to it, you understand how hard it is. Then you may, uh, then what you're supposed to do is if it's going to be too hard, you're supposed to lower that amount and you're supposed to be okay with it. You're supposed to just just interact with your guitar. You're supposed to interact with your code. You're supposed to interact with whatever hobby you're trying to learn or start doing. You won't reach anything if you won't set the time frame of you working towards it. People who are doing the exact amount of job every day are always going to be before those who will be trying to actively do more when they have some free time than they usually do. Because people who try to do more when they have free time are actively self-sabotaging themselves. They have no logic to understand it, but now you do. So please, be aware of this. Be smarter. Be more aware. Be more intelligent about your brain. You cannot instantly change something and be done with it. Unfortunately, we are people, humanity, is a species that is supposed to adapt. And unfortunately, our psyche is always going to adapt to whatever lifestyle you have. You're eating junk food, it will get used to having as much dopamine uh, every time you eat as you would get from junk food. And if you would instantly switch to broccoli, chicken breast, and that's it, you wouldn't get as much dopamine and you would burn out. You would get back to junk food and instead of even just getting back to junk food and eating as regular, you were most likely to eat like triple, triple of your usual portion when you'll get back to it and you will break. It's not about you being able to do more. It's about you doing the same thing even, even then when you have extra time to. It's about you doing those three times a week sessions every week and not about you trying to do as many sessions per week as possible based on your time. This is why I have muscle. This is why I'm developing. This is why you will too. This is why you will succeed if you'll just do it. So if to summarize, you just have to first of all, set the time frames you're going to you're going to be doing it from this time to this time from 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. Not more not less or you can for example if you're writing something set it set an, set the max amount of letters you can write one one thousand letters a, a day there you go there's the limit you're not gonna go beyond it you're not gonna burn out if you're not gonna go to this amount then you'll just lower it you're not supposed to increase it you're supposed to lower it. 
And in order to learn something without burning out and actively actually learn something and not just consume the information regarding something, you have to actually do it. You have to actually do it despite all those ego claims of yours that you are a nobody, that you are such a talentless creature, that you don't deserve to hold a guitar in your hands, that you don't deserve to develop games, that you don't deserve to be an athlete. It's all your ego. And the moment you just go over it, the moment you're just understanding that it's all this is, your ego, you start understanding how to live, how to learn, how to not burn out, how to be able to control your life. Change is a bliss in any shape or form. And procrastination is a curse in any way or form.